Hello everyone, and welcome to Histories of Airliners. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane to explore the history and operations of a truly iconic aircraft, the Transworld Airlines MD-82, registered as November 960 Tango Whiskey. This plane wasn't just an MD-82, it was a workhorse for Transworld Airlines, carrying passengers across the country for nearly two decades. So buckle up, and let's get ready for takeoff. The MD-82 is a medium-range, twin-engine jetliner built by McDonnell Douglas with more passengers and longer range than the fabled DC-9, that the MD-80 family of aircraft were based on. It first entered service in 1981 and quickly became a popular choice for airlines around the world. TWA was one of the early adopters of the MD-82, taking delivery of its first aircraft in 1983. This aircraft was one of the 37 MD-82s that TWA would eventually operate. This airliner rolled off the production line in 1985 and was delivered to its first operator, Alaska Airlines shortly thereafter. The aircraft quickly went to work, flying routes across the Alaska Airlines network, which at this point in Alaska Airlines history included most of the U.S. West Coast with some flights going as far east as Boston and as far south as Miami. While with Alaska Airlines, the aircraft was painted in the 1980s era smiling Eskimo livery and registered as November 930 Alpha Sierra. This aircraft would serve along the U.S. West Coast with Alaska Airlines until 1996. It was in this year that the aircraft was transferred to Transworld Airlines, otherwise known as TWA. The registration was changed to November 960 Tango Whiskey, and repainted in TWA's final Golden Globe livery. TWA's route network was more broad than Alaska Airlines, and this aircraft visited locations all over North America and into the Caribbean. By the end of 2001, TWA had begun the process of being merged into American Airlines and with that, the last TWA livery faded into history. On this aircraft, the livery was changed to the classic American Airlines red white and blue cheat line livery. While in service with American Airlines, the flight type and locations didn't change much from when it flew with TWA, just more numerous. A year and a half later, the aircraft was withdrawn from service and stored at the Roswell New Mexico Aircraft Boneyard. It has been completely scrapped since the summer of 2004. Some of the technical specifications of the McDonnell Douglas MD-82 are as follows. The aircraft used two rear-mounted Pratt & Whitney JT-8 dealer bypass turbofans. These engines produced up to 21,000 pounds force or 93 kilo newtons. These engines allowed a cruise speed of up to 472 knots or 873 kilometers per hour, which could allow a range of over 2,000 nautical miles or 3,800 kilometers, while carrying up to 155 passengers in a one-class configuration comfortably. This aircraft may be retired now, but it remains an important part of Alaska Airlines and TWA's history. The aircraft served these two airlines faithfully for just short of two decades, carrying millions of passengers to their destinations. And while it may be gone, it will never be forgotten. Thanks for joining me on this trip down memory lane with this aircraft. I hope you enjoyed learning about the history and operations of this iconic aircraft. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more aviation content. And until next time. Happy flying. The video you see on the screen now is of a 1 to 400 scale model, produced by a company called Gemini Jets in 2023. As shown, this aircraft has been made into a model four times. Once, from Gemini Jets in 1 to 400 scale and three times in its Alaska Airlines guise from Jet X from 1 to 200 scale, down to 1 to 400 scale. There is an opportunity for viewers to purchase merchandise via Etsy. I have recently been placing my thumbnail art, with some artistic twists on that website. The link to my Etsy storefront can be found in a link in the description. The more videos I make from this point will see more products added to that storefront. If you like what you have seen, hit those like buttons, and spread the word. We've enjoyed making this video, and we hope you have fun watching it.
This channel survives with you, the viewer, and your ongoing support. The more you watch my videos from start to finish helps me get a larger distribution, which will bring in more subscribers, that will then repeat this process. Thank you and good day.